1692. It is April 11, 1692. Everything in the room is as it was during Rebecca's examination. Hathron and Corwin preside again. This time, Sarah is brought by armed guards. Unlike Rebecca, however, Sarah enters the room with her head erect, fully prepared to meet her accusers. This is not a trial, but an examination to see. I'm familiar with your speech. I hear it all before. Very well, Sarah Coyce. You stand charged with witchcraft against the girls Abigail Williams and Mercy Lewis and against the slave John Indian. Speak then. I, I was hurt. Who hurt you? Her. She choked me and punched me and bit me until the blood came. You are a liar. John Indian recoils. As though, burn from the score of your voice. Who is for you to make this jar? I think we all know. Before the minister can answer, Anna rises from her seat. She attacked us with a knife. See, here is the proof. The news brings a loud buzz from the crowd. Then a boy stands. That is my blade. I broke it yesterday and nearly green, but could not find that piece. I will show you. You could. Yeah, yeah. The guard has the boy with peace. The boy demonstrates that his neck and peace fit together. What deception is this? Abigail jumps up, her eyes are loud, and her voice is masculine and husky, as she were possessed. She points to Samuel Paris and growls. You there, minister, do you think your God can fight my power? Before Paris can reply, Abigail's voice and manner change back to that of a frightened girl. Her arms fly up, and she clutches her throat. Help! I'm choking! Go away! Do not let her hurt me so. You have seen the devil in this poor girl. How do you plead? Innocent, innocent as an amber child. I am a Christian woman, a symbol of a God, and whoever accused me falsely, God will destroy. Sammy Paris look uneasily at Sarah. The girls are clearly upset by the firmness of Sarah's words. For several seconds, there is silence. Abigail Williams, you charge this woman. What say you now? Abigail and the other girls all lower their heads. No one speaks. Suddenly, suddenly there is a voice from the crowd back. I, I charge her. All eyes turn towards the slave. He he physically insults you with nervous sweat. He starts to back away until he catches the threatening stare of Samuel Paris. Who torments you? Before John can answer, Abigail stands up and points to Sarah. She does. She torments us all. She bites us and punches us. Oh, see the yellow bird above her head? Hysteria breaks out in the crowd. Soon several people are screaming that they'd see the bird. Mercy and Abigail fall to the floor in convulsion. John Indian also collapses. Suddenly, Abigail leaps up. Blood drips from her large bite on her arm. See, she bites us. She and Goody nurse, they drink our blood. There is more uproar. Half and Cora speak to one of the other guards. Who then lifts Abigail and carries her to Sarah? This, this girl's bloody arm is thrust against Sarah's body. The crowd gasps at Abigail goes up and appears to be restored. Observe this child is cured. It has been shown in previous cases. In England, that when an afflicted son touches a witch, the devilish passes back into the witch's body. Not so. Anyone can see this child's play acting. Let the record show you that Abigail Williams was cured after touching the accused. How do you respond? From scripture delve in my soul, oh Lord, from lying lips. You are a cunning witch. You use scriptures to hide your allegiance to the devil. If Satan in solemn field, he is here only to support this mockery of justice. Then you admit the devil is among us. Oh yes, he is here, but the accused are his victims, not the fully. This is the work of people who will control our village and the misguide. Oh, this people fall silent and appear to serve him. Many to a sign, then judge her who can confront you. There is one more test of your guilt or innocence. You must repay it, the what? Lord's prayers. What? It is known by all that no one possessed by Satan can recite this prayer without error. What's nonsense? Do you refuse? Slowly, sir begins to recite the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven. The crowd hangs on every word. Man lives smooth slowly, following along as Sarah speaks. With the final amen, Sarah completes a flawless recital. There, are you satisfied? But the f now most of the people are clear at Sarah's side, happy and calling. 
at the moment, Bedlam breaks loose. Young Anna lets out a piercing scream. The other girls twist and turn as they were struggling with an invisible force. Then Anna leaps to her feet. She has bewitched them. Witch. She's a witch. Liars. Liars. Take her away. God knows whom you deserve. You will be answered to his justice. Take her away, I said. Struggling and kicking, Sarah jacked from the church, but she has her last words. There's not stopping now. No one's safe. No one.